Forget CDs or MP3 players. Malcolm Curitan and his wife Jo love listening to street organs so much that Malcolm decided to put his creative skills to good use and make them one each. They were actually on holiday in Dorset and we went to the Dorset Fair. That's the Dorset Steam Fair. And um, there was one or two hand turned organs, as they referred to, actually on show there. And that really got me thinking that maybe I could actually build one of these instruments. I'm not musical. I don't, uh, I don't read music. I don't understand music. And I don't really play an instrument as such. But I enjoy pipe organs. And I went to my nearest d big DIY store and uh, pulled some of the timbers off there and many other items and then began to put these things together to make what I hoped would be a pipe organ. I was on the first one about two years um, but in truth I probably made as many modelers do you make three because the first two go into the scrap bin they are uh, street organs, so we do actually play them in, in the streets at various markets around or garden centres where we entertain the public. Um, and basically, we do it for charity. The, the kindness of the people that uh, appreciate what we've done, um, that money goes actually to St Giles Hospice. I'm working on the th my third uh, street organ which is a much bigger instrument and it's um, this one will be what is referred to as MIDI controlled. A uh, paper roll can cost anything from 40 to 60 to 120 pounds depending on the complexity of the arrangement of the music. But on a CF card we can get 120 tunes with no problem at all. So. Um, it's cost really that's brought us into the electronic age as far as the organ goes.